Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're tackling another factoring method, factoring by grouping. If you've ever seen a polynomial with four terms and weren't sure how to factor it, this me method makes it super simple. I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step example. First, we'll start with an easier example, and then we'll end with a trickier one. So let's start with the polynomial x squared plus 4x plus 5x plus 20. So if you've ever seen something like this, this has four separate terms. So we're gonna break this down into three steps. So step number one, to factor this polynomial, step number one is to break this polynomial into two pairs. So for example, we have x squared plus four x, that's one pair, plus five x plus 20. Now. Keep in mind, we have not changed anything. We've just broken this into two different pairs. So step two is in each pair, we're going to factor out the greatest common factor. So for example, let's start with pair number one. Our greatest common factor for this is going to be x. x is the greatest factor that goes into both of these evenly. So we x goes into x squared x times plus 4. The second term, we're going to figure out what our greatest common factor is. Well, our greatest common factor is 5. 5 goes into 5x x times and goes into 20 4 times. So this is a really good stopping point. If at this point, let me just find a different color here. If at this point, we do not have the exact same expressions here, so we have x plus four and x plus four, we know that we have done something wrong. So we know that we're on the right track because both of those are the same. So the third thing or the third step that we're gonna do is look for a common binomial factor. So that's what we just found, x plus four and x plus four. We know that's going to be part of, so x plus four is going to be a part of our answer. And the last two things that we're left with is x and five. So let's put that together as x plus five. So the polynomial x squared plus 4x plus 5x plus 20 can be simplified or factored into x plus 4 times a quantity x plus 5. As usual, we want to make sure that we've done this right. So let's go ahead and FOIL this out. So to FOIL this out, so we're going to do our first terms, which is x squared. We're going to do our outside terms, which is plus 5x. We're going to do our inner terms, which is 4x, and we're going to do our last, which is 20. Now, if you look at this expression, this expression and this one are exactly the same. So we know we've done this correct, factored by grouping. So let's try one more. Let's try a little bit trickier of a question. So we're asked to factor the polynomial 3x three, which is the third power, minus six x squared plus two x minus four. Okay, so let's follow our steps. Step one, we're gonna break this into two different pairs, plus two x minus four. Our second step is we're looking at each one of our pairs. So we have this pair and we have this pair. What is our greatest common factor in the blue pair? Here. Well, our greatest common factor is going to be a 3x squared. If you don't know how I got there, go ahead, go ahead and go back and watch my greatest common factor video. We talk about, talk about it step by step and how to how to get these numbers there. Um, so we're left with 3x squared, and now we're going to take each term in our pair and we're going to divide them out. So 3x to the third divided by 3x squared. Well, that's just going to be x minus 2. 6x squared divided by 3x squared is 2. Now we're going to take our, or we're also going to take our greatest common factor out here, which is going to be a 2. And let's do the same thing. 2, 2x divided by 2 
it's just x, and 2 divided by negative 4, or sorry, 4, negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. So again, this is our stopping point. We want to make sure that we have the exact same binomial here, or we have the exact same pair here, which is x minus 2, and we sure do. So we're going to lead with that. We're going to say x minus 2 times 3x squared plus 2. And that is our answer. So I'm going to put a couple of these on the board here. And I want you guys to try these on your own. 2x plus 6 and 4x3 plus 8x plus 5x plus 10. That's our second one. And our third one is 6x3 minus 9x squared plus 2x minus 3. So once you go ahead and try each one of these on your own, and you can check your answer on my Teachers Pay Teachers link in the description below. And that's it. That's Factor by Grouping. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.